<clears throat> okay, sorry. I'm only a few minutes late. I turned my alarm off and fell back asleep. I am tired today. Yeah, it's still showing gray, I promise. It's purple. Is that what we're gonna call it? I'm promi I promise it's purple. We might. When all is said and done. Okay. What the heck were we doing when we last left off? Oh, we were doing trees. That's what we were doing. I need this one. Okay. So. We are needle felting, following along with a Bob Ross tutorial. It is going to be from season three of The Joy of Painting, and it will be following along with episode number seven, Quiet Inlet. We have done one through six so far, excuse me, and the archives of those others can be found on the YouTube channel. Same name is here, let me see BGM. And um, they should all be on the Nisi Needle Felts playlist. Give me one second, I suddenly have to blow my nose. That's better. Allergy season, man. What can I say? Allergy life, I suppose. With the way this past few months have been. All right. So um, we're following along with the Bob Ross tutorials, except for using fiber instead of paint. We have followed along with paint before with the oil paint. Um, We've done a few, and we've also are following along with uh, with gouache as well. Um, the gouache I'm trying to try to do all of them. So we started with season one because you know might as well start at the beginning. Alright. So I hope everybody is having a good weekend. Now, um, a lot of people tend to use roving for this. Um, since we're painting on felt, and you know, it's not going to be like a clothing piece or anything. Um, I'm more than fine with doing it uh, with acrylic yarn and um, it saves my budget some agony also doing it with the acrylic yarn because <laughs> damn roving can be expensive at least for my budget it's expensive especially for the amount of colors that I would need that I would go through and I suppose I could try to dye it but that's a step more than I am really wanting to take I don't really have the room to be setting stuff up to be drying everywhere and I've got a plethora of cats that would just be Excuse me, getting into all of it as it was drying, so that's just a circus I just don't want to deal with right now. 
But, I mean, you can find some decent yarn sales out there. Um, this one, I think, oh, this is an acrylic yarn from Paintbox, which I think might be an in-house brand on the Lovecrafts website. It does all right. It does feel like the lo the paint box stuff might come through the backside a little bit more than the others, but that could just be my imagination. Probably is. all anchored down into here. I'm just using a small gauge needle. I don't know the exact size of the needle. The toolkit that um, it came in just simply had it labeled as S. So I've tried using the bigger gauges. They actually make my hand tired. My hand, my arm, all of it. I'm like, you wouldn't think that the bigger gauge would. It's not that much heavier. It really does, for me at least. Okay. So we are working on putting in our little tree line here. Um, I've got a couple different lines here that I was sort of using as guidelines for stuff and then that kind of went out the window a little bit once I uh, got into the step by step. Because we do a concept, um, we do do like a concept work through with colored pencils just to kind of get a feel for how the thing's going to go. and. Um, ahead of time and it helps me you know get my mind wrapped around how we're gonna approach this but it never usually works out quite the same as um, as the the concept piece you know and that's okay Sometimes I'm, I'm just doing a real quick work through and I'm not really paying attention that much to the steps. Sometimes I'm just looking at the final piece for Bob's um, or I'm just working through it in real quick chunks and uh, then when I come back it's like, oh. So I tried to sketch this out roughly on the felt before we get going because I know me and um, I have a habit of either scrunching everything up at the top and then getting to the bottom and have a shit ton of leftover room or I start spreading it out too much being afraid that I'm scrunching it up and then get to the bottom and run out of space. So. It's a little bit easier if I have those stop, well not really stop gaps, but um, boundaries for me to be paying attention to, goals to work towards, I guess. Be like, hey, red alert, don't put this further than that. Okay, so these are kind of like shaped like those cedar landscapey trees at least for for him so I just take a small chunk of the fiber and just kind of roll it into a snake trying to make one end a little bit pointier than the other I mean they all don't have to be the same exact shape and they, they really shouldn't be but uh, It helps so that it's not just, you know, a tube of fluff going down. It's got a little bit of shape to it. You can shape it with your fingers and the tool as you go. I did manage to get a couple of things posted to Instagram 
and Kofi last night. Um, some of the latest painting stuff that I was doing. I still have to get the last needle felting project posted up there. Um, I realized last night late that uh, I had forgotten to do that and was like, oh well shit. <laughs> and uh, then I was trying to find the photo that I took. The one I don't think I have a finished photo on. So we're gonna have to get one for that. And um, I have a photo on the one where it's completely finished. So I just haven't gotten around to posting it because I keep forgetting. all sorted out here. And some of these are sitting a little lower than others. Is he bugging you or no? Yes, and it's not even an hour. We got the chin a little bit now. Sorry, Doggo's not feeling well today. He hurt his back a while ago, like a, over a year ago, almost two years now. And um, ever since then, like it was months of recovery for him. He's still not quite right, but he's better than he was. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he'll just like let out a yelp, and we're like, oh god, what just happened? And we don't know what triggered it. And he had one of those moments today. We still have some of his pain medication from the last time we got it refilled. I think that is the last refill, so I don't know if they're going to make us come in to get more if we run out, because they were trying to have us wean them off of it, and we we did, um, and we only give it to him now if he lets out one of those weird yelps, and it's been months since he's done that. So we don't know if he just shifted wrong, or what. It's a hot one today, you guys. Very hot. It is 95 currently. Well, actually, let me double check that because that might not be accurate. Hi, Momo. It's... no. Oh, our Windows 11 is telling me it's 95. Our local news station is saying it's 93 with a feels like of 107. Oh, buddy. It's hot out, buddy. So it's uh, pretty, pretty darn toasty. They're saying we could have a stray severe thunderstorm today. I would not be surprised in the slightest. There's something on the Kansas-Oklahoma border. Have to keep an eye on that. Just to make sure that doesn't become a problem for us. Right. So 
quick on getting this tree guy put in. As much as we can here. So we only have a couple more of these guys to go before we get um, this line of trees done because we're just going to here because this is outer edge is going to get trimmed off. hot in our room, I can tell you that much. Hi buddy, you okay? You alright? Did you have to pee pee? You okay? Oh, my buddy. Hi. Oh. You're having a shitty day, huh? We didn't give him a full pain pill, we only gave him a teeny tiny quarter of one. So it probably didn't do very much, but maybe take the edge off. You want mommy to take your pee-pee? Where's your tail? No happy tail? Alright, I'm coming. Alright, give me one minute, you guys. I will be right back.
Okay. I'm back. Sorry about that. At least Pupper went potty, you know? At least he didn't fake me out entirely. Because sometimes he'll do that. Oh, it's gonna be a little guy. Well, that should be okay. <clears throat> Alright, I tend to pull my projects up off of my mat um, every so often because I've had times where I didn't and uh, it stuck to the mat rather obnoxiously and I had a heck of a time getting it off so to keep that in mind. Now I think before I get the binder for the gouache project I'm gonna have to replace um, this mat and possibly my mouse. There's nothing wrong with the mouse per se. Um, except for the fact that it's uncomfortable on my hand. And I think it's aggravating my hand situation. Because it just, it hurts to use it, like the, the, the dome on the mouse is really high for my hand. And um, it's kind of big, so the whole thing just kind of hurts. definitely not made for my awkwardly sized hands. That's for certain. But there's nothing really wrong with it. It's a fine mouse. But I need to get something that's a little more durable than what I've been getting for the pieces I put it through. I tend to prefer the wired mice because I don't want to be going through a shit ton of batteries. I do a lot of clicking in the course of the day, depending on what I'm doing. And uh, I just, I can't be having that nonsense. are expensive man so I need to get something that's wired that's a little bit durable I mean the mouse that came with this new PC it's like a full-on chunky gaming mouse because there's even weights in the bottom of it and that sucker's heavy so like I said there's nothing really wrong with the mouse itself it's just my hand doesn't like it. That's all it is. Alright, there's gonna be trees over here, so I'm not that worried about that one being thin. Okay. So, he does some, like, pulling up and making it look um, a little bit misty, and like, there's little stick branch things in there with the magic liquid white stuff. Um, we don't... We're not going to be able to do that because we don't have magic white because this is fiber and I'm not going to try to lay in a bunch of white fiber all up in through there. That's okay. That would, it, it wouldn't look right at all. I do have this muted so um, we did post the link in the chat earlier. If 
if you are looking for the full thing. And he's gonna bring some reflections down. Now, we haven't done our water yet. We will soon. I wanted to work down because this gets a little weird when it's got um, sections in between colors that uh, haven't been filled in yet. Okay, so he's going to put in a couple of trees here and there. Like the one that's over here somewhere kind of looks like it's sticking up behind those guys. Then he starts adding in some ground cover along in here. Okay, so I'm going to pause him right there, I guess. Um, Alright, let me grab our let me grab my my book here, my coconut turtle let me grab our our book that we did our concept one in Let's see if i can find it oh. so what did we say we were gonna do for this um Alright, so we did go with the hunter green. Okay. So. Oh, oh, we're destroying the back covering of that uh, sketchbook there because it's sitting on top of the fish tank. Alright, let me go grab the next color that we need. So I don't have a whole lot of this color fluffed at the moment. I, I have a, a whole skein still of it. We've got plenty of it. I just might have to fluff more here very soon. Alright. So, need to figure out where is this one tree guy going here? Kind of looks like he's hanging out back into here. You know, just kind of make like a, I don't know, a bushy tree shape before you plop it down. And then start tapping it and see what it looks like as you go. Because, you know, as you tap this in and the fibers all get pulled and weaved down into each other. Or jammed down into each other, really. Um, it might change its shape a bit. You might have to add to it a little bit more if you get any real big thin spots in there that don't look right to you. Or maybe you started out a little bit smaller. That's fine too. Looks like, see here, I need to add in a little bit more to uh, cover this tree line here. So 
sometimes if you do this on a harsh enough angle, you can kind of get the fluff to move a little bit. If it's not exactly where you wanted it to sit. Um, you're not going to be able to move it too far. I mean, maybe if you had the patience, you could, but... If you just need to kind of micro-adjust that guy over, you probably can pull that off. And I tend to overlap my colors a bit as they come in, even if it's the same color. It just fits a little bit better. And then we don't have too many strange seams happening or anything. that's the goal. Sometimes that works out and sometimes it doesn't. All right, you don't have to brush down the back of it. I just do. I find it um, lets everything lay a bit better on the front. I would recommend pulling it up off of the mat, especially if you're using a, a felt felting mat or a wool felting mat, since they tend to grab onto each other. Now, I probably should have seen if he was going to highlight this tree before <laughs> we got a little too carried away in our placement here, but I was thinking of adding the highlight color in with it. to do that this time. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. We'll get it figured out. Okay, so that guy's going to sit about in there. Okay, I feel bad because it kind of covered up that whole section. Alright, so now I'm going to start to... I know we're not done putting in our big trees yet, but... I do want to start laying this in over here. And I'm trying to make sure that our bottom edge is pretty well filled in. The top can be a little more unruly, I suppose we will call it. Just if we're going to have a thin spot, I'd rather it be at the top where the other tree line is to poke through then have it be 
along the bottom edge necessarily. So I'm gonna have to patch that guy. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. We didn't do a whole lot. We don't really do stuff very often. Number one, money. Number two, um, husband issues a lot of the time. Sometimes it's me issues. biggest thing is is cash to go do the things but I'll tell you with as hot as it is outside right now ain't nobody want to go anywhere and quite honestly I really didn't want to take the doggo out I don't think doggo really wanted to go out after he got out there he kind of was like mm. he he went potty and uh, he, he came back fairly quickly, so I was like, oh yeah, he's not, he's not really in the mood either. Which was fine with me, because, you know, we were in the middle of live stream. some video editing done soon. I'm not moving very fast. So with these um, needle felting projects, we do the live streams on them for those that are new here. And then um, I export each live stream session over to the YouTube channel. And then when we're all done that particular project, at least for these, because they are rather time consuming to put together. Um, it's not like paint where you might have a shot of getting done in like a day or two. Um, this does take a couple of weeks to do because I'm only working on it two days a week. If we spent a full solid week on it, and, and of those two days, it's only like maybe two and a half hours at the most. Um, so, I mean, if we spent a full solid week on it, we could probably get it done a lot faster. But we also take the time out to do some other things and stuff, so... takes us a little bit longer to get through them, but anyhow, um, when we're done each needle felted project, I'm going to go back in, especially with these ones that take so long, um, I'm going to go back in and grab all the live streams and I edit them down, cut a lot of me talking out of it and kind of turn it into like a speed paint, but it's a speed felt and speed everything up and with my editing changing over time I've managed to get like a 12 to 13 week project edited down to about two and a half hours so that's what I'm in the middle of working on right now I'm working on doing the speed run of our last project the um, covered bridge. I haven't gotten very far on that. Because I'm also working on editing a Diablo series. I have one of those. I think I need to edit it. Maybe I already did it. I think I either have to edit another one or I have to record it. I can't remember which is the case. Okay. Alright. 
So we've got our shrubby line coming in here. Working on doing that. kind of shaping this guy as best as I can here. Just so he's not like an entire just tube of fluff. I'm trying to give the top edge a little bit of a a flare to it. I also need to see what the heck I'm doing, so sorry if my hand's in the way. Won't be there for too long. Okay. Alrighty, so. Get this guy all worked in. We did catch one of the mice. We're not sure if it's the only one. I haven't necessarily heard any more running in the ceiling, so maybe it was the only one. But we caught it last night. I think the trap had only been up there for maybe, maybe 10 hours. It wasn't even a full day. 12 hours at the most. Because we got a notification not long after um, the husband got it sorted. Actually, it might not have even been 10 hours. Um, got it set up up there because we, we have a couple of live traps um, and we saw we put our security camera up there to keep an eye on it because it gets so hot up there there's no point in putting the live trap up there if uh, we don't know it got caught and it fucking dies from the heat, so. We uh, got a notification late last night. And I mean late. It was like almost 1 a.m., I think. That uh, we had caught something. We'd gotten a notification earlier when it was kind of checking things out, so. The magic of peanut butter and sunflower seeds. At least around here for these mice. Seem to do wonders. Now those trees are like almost on top of each other. I kind of didn't want to. I mean, I guess we can kind of go like here maybe. And they're not completely on top of each other. There's a little bit of breath between them, but not a whole lot. Sorry, I saw a loose bit of fluff up there. Wanted to take care of it while I was thinking about it. So. Just keep chugging along here. On the crunchy, crunchy tap train.
He usually comes back and highlights the things, but I don't remember if he did on this one. I mean, we'll find out eventually. Just kind of... That bit fluffed oddly, so... Or didn't want to fluff in that section right there, so... Well, that's okay, I mean, it's gonna fluff how it's gonna fluff. Just trying to spread it out a little bit. See what kind of shape we can get it to be. So we're sort of following along with Bob. There's probably going to be times where we're not the exact same as Bob. I mean, it, it's hard to be the exact same when you're working in with a completely, totally different animal medium. So, paint is not going to behave like fiber, and fiber is not going to behave like paint. Once we're done with this particular Bob series with the needle felting, um, I've got some photos saved on Unsplash that uh, we'll see what we can do with. He's a little bit of a crooked tree, but that's okay. There's actually like the slightest bit of a thin spot. I'm trying to show up in here on that one tree, and it's kind of near the base. If it was near the top, I wouldn't care quite as much. But because it's near the bottom, it's kind of bugging me, so I'm probably gonna attempt to fill that in here in just a minute. This bit of shrubbery into place here. I'll tell you, this heat is kicking my ass, and I've only been outside once. And for like five minutes. This is horrible. It doesn't help that I've got like two extra big lights on and our room is pretty warm on a good day because we're not like we have a couple of air ducts in our room for the heating and air conditioning however um they don't seem to be connected to the system or something happened under the house and they're no longer connected to the system or somebody blocked them. Anything is entirely possible. But 
but um, we don't really seem to get anything at all that comes out of these vents in our room. We would get wind when the wind blew <laughs> in the winter and then it would be freezing in here, but we wouldn't get any heat at all. No AC, so we just, we have some fans set up to kind of shepherd the AC into our room. I have a fan I could probably set up to blow at me, but I'm afraid it'll piss the microphone off something terrible. That and where I was going to put it, um, Littles is laying at the moment. And it's not that I don't want to disturb her, but I don't want her getting mad at me <laughs> and uh, giving me an attitude and trying to bite me. I could probably get away with putting it where she's at and nudging her over. But at the same time, it's not really worth it for the remaining amount of time that we'll be together today. We have about an hour left today. Ish. Since I was a few minutes late finishing setup here. I've got a little thin spot right in there. Okay, so he put those two trees in. That's really the only two oddball guys he's got in here. He's got a at least one big one that's hanging out down in this area but he didn't put that in yet so we're gonna try not to to think about it too much just yet I mean, I'm trying to think about it a little because I have to try to plan a little bit here but This piece is just going to be completely unruly. It's a little stringy, but that's okay. Oh, for anybody new here, um, my husband has a mechanical keyboard. That's what you're hearing in the background. Sorry, my microphone picks up the stupidest shit. That. We live on a very busy road, so anybody that was here for the Planet Zoo stream last night, um, you probably got an earful of the couple of emergency vehicles that went by at different times. It's like the main road that goes through our town. And there's not much of a front yard. It's like maybe the length of a vehicle, not even. Maybe the length of like an army jeep like not like a, a jeep suv but like a jeep jeep that you can take the top off stuff um maybe that width of our yard to the road so from like our porch so it can get a little a little loud at times with the uh, traffic going by And there's not a darn thing I can do about that, so. I'm not really sure if those um, soundproofy squares would, not soundproofy, but like the echo dampening, maybe they are soundproofing. Um, 
you know, those home squares that people put up to try to even out their sound. I don't know if that would really help in this situation. It probably wouldn't. If anything with my luck, it would probably just amplify the noise going on in the room even more and make it more noticeable. That and these walls are like a textured plaster. And I don't think that we'd be able to get them up very well. Where they would be easily um, attached without falling down. I mean, I could probably attach them to a piece of poster board. But it's plaster and thumbtacks don't really want to go through this stuff. Um, I've tried. As it is half the time, nails don't want to go through this stuff. I mean, we'll get the nail in, but it falls right out. And we really don't feel like patching any more holes in the wall, so... You know. We'll just have to cope for now. If we ever end up moving them, we might think about getting them. Depending on what the sound levels are like in a new location. But if we do end up moving, it's not going to be for quite some time. We believe it's going to be a few years. Probably more than a few years, so... We'll just have to see what happens. So we are working on getting the shrubbery line in. As best as we can here. Hopefully we can uh, do something with it. Hopefully. Oh, um, and from time to time, a couple of days a week, you might start to see the husband on the channel more, or hear the husband on the channel more. Um, he was trying to get his own channel up and going, but for the amount that he feels up to streaming, it just wasn't worth the aggravation for him. So, he's like, well, if you're okay with it, I can just go on your channel. I'm like, yeah, I guess. I'm like, just, you know. I laid down a couple of rules and then we were fine, so... But um, we will make it blatantly apparent that it is him. Number one, he's got a different voice than I do. Um, I'll usually be in the chat when he is streaming unless I'm asleep. make it obvious he's got a background border that he's working on that will also make it blatantly obvious that it's the husband streaming and not to me but we'll try to make sure that the title is indi in indicative is that the word I want um, that it's him. And I think soon, why do I say, is this just clicking because it's clicking or am I picking up static from what I'm doing? 
Sorry, I've got headphones in. And they're not the greatest headphones. But they don't make my ears as sore as the other ones. The uh, earbuds that I was using, so we're going with it. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I may or may not remember. But yeah, we'll try to make sure you guys know ahead of time. And he's kind of got a hermit crab three, hermit crab theme going for his stuff. So um, we have to work out on getting um, overlays put in and stuff into Streamlabs for not Streamlabs. Um, OBS to copy it from stream elements. There's too many things with the name stream in it. Tough keeping them all straight. My fuzzy brain wanting to grab wrong words. Alright. Take a minute to get a drink here. Oh shit, really? Huh. I'll tell you. Sorry. I saw a news alert that I needed to check on real quick. Oh wow, that popped up out of nowhere. Weather? Yeah. Um, so we're in a severe thunderstorm watch. Until 10 p.m. When I took Momo out, it definitely felt and looked like we, something was gonna happen. So we've got a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings already um, there to the east of us near Eula. I don't know how to pronounce that. Eula, Eula, and Marshall for golf ball size hail and 60 mile per hour winds. Damn. Tell you, was it last week? Earlier this week? No, had to have been last week. Um, there were some storm chasers in uh, um, Oklahoma that work with the one news station or partner with them or get paid by them, whatever. And uh, they had tennis ball size hail and it uh, broke their windshield. They kind of sort of got caught in the hail part of the storm. I was like, oh god. No thank you. It sounds all fun and games until it fucking hits you or goes through your roof. No, no thanks. You can keep that shit in Oklahoma. I do not want. We only really have the one carport that's attached to the house. It's not like one of the flimsy pop-up ones. It's a actual full-on built structure off the side and uh, we only have the one so we have both cars here right now. Ours and the mother-in-law's and uh, really don't want to have to deal with having to call safe light safe safe life safe light oh. one of those people that can remote come out and change your windshield I imagine that'd be super fucking expensive We'd have to get somebody to come to us because her one tire is bad on her car. We have to keep pumping air in it whenever we go to move it and every few days. Speaking of, have you started that car recently? Uh, yes, I did when I mowed the lawn. Okay. She's away with um, her sister. 
traveling around in an RV. And who the hell knows when they'll be back. So we are here trying to make sure our bills are getting paid and well I mean we live here but we're also trying to deal with property bullshit at the same time so we have to be more involved with it than we were originally Husband's a phone is a notifying. Hopefully, it's not another mouse on the camera. I can't check nope. the. No? No, nope. it was just a dust mug. Okay. I was originally thinking it was probably a shadow. But, uh. Like I said, I haven't heard feet, and we usually hear the feet pretty loudly when something's running around up there. But that doesn't mean that the cat that likes to hang around outside isn't going to chase somebody else into however they manage to get up there. Don't really know. We never really fully figured out how they got up there the last time. And we can't really just send the cats up because there's no real solid floor up there basically just a crawl space and we don't want them getting into the fiberglass insulation or whatever the fuck's up there number two and number three with as hell-bent on capturing something as a couple of them are they would just not be paying attention to where they were going and probably like somehow get themselves stuck somewhere And quite honestly, the last thing I really want to do is be ripping walls apart trying to find where a cat fell, so... No thanks, we'll just put the live trap up there... And wait. And hope that there's not any more... We have two live- we actually have a couple live traps. We have a couple small ones that are like in the shape of a tube. And then we have a slightly larger, um, like metal cage one. But we don't have that- I, mean, I think we only have two up there. We've been putting the metal cage one, which was our original one. And then these plastic tube ones we got later but uh, they were either really reluctant to go in there the one time or what because we had a whole bunch up there at one point I think the last time we had to deal with this issue we had like what we dropped off like maybe seven because we weren't able to get them quite fast enough I guess bit more fluff. Let's 
sorry, there was a loose piece over here. I wasn't seeing it in every angle, I was only seeing it in some angles. And it was starting to vex me. Alright, I just want to fill in this top bit a little bit more. It just seemed to be a little... I don't know. Not quite tall enough here. So I definitely want to cover... at least the baseline of our tall shrubs back here. So we're not seeing where they all join up and connect in. Because some of them are slightly differently placed, so. Some of them I was doing on this line, some of them I was doing on that line, and now we need to slightly curve this around so let's start to work on that doesn't have to be super perfect because we're gonna have some some shoreline coming in here in this section. So this bottom edge is what I'm trying to Kind of pay attention to the well. I need to pay attention to the top and the bottom, but I'm trying to be a little more fussy with how that edge is looking. Now, would it have worked out better if we had done the water and then done the shoreline and then laid this in on top of it? Maybe. But, you know, if we're really not happy with how it looks, how it's laying, we can always come back in and add another quick bit of fluff in a couple of layers. Sometimes it doesn't always make sense for us to go in the order that Bob is going in. But I do try to layer it the way he's layering it. You know, we'll see how it goes. I gotta figure out. Hmm. Okay, I think I figured out. <laughs> Sorry, I just had an idea that popped into my head um, about Christmas presents. I know it's a long ways off, but when you have to make your Christmas presents, sometimes you need that um, extra runtime. If we were doing craft show, although we were doing craft show, we're seriously behind. <laughs> seriously. Alright. I swear it feels like it's getting hotter in here, but it might just be my imagination. Oh, there's a storm. Where's that? Okay. That's a little 
to our southeast. That's not that far from here. That's what, maybe six or seven miles from us. So we might be hearing some thunder in a little bit. Oh, Zorts, my dude, if you hear this, I hope you know you're in a tornado watch. Please be careful at work tonight. He probably knows. usually pops in but I know it's a work day for him Kinda wish I wasn't cooking tonight, cause holy shit. At least I don't have to turn the oven on tonight. I actually wanna see if we can get some squishy bread. Or what I dub squishy bread. It's kind of just the Walmart bakery Italian bread. Um, and sometimes you can get it pre-sliced, which saves me a lot of aggravation. Maybe we'll make pot roast tomorrow. And do um, we like to take uh, the slices of the bread? I mean, we could use any bread really, but it tastes better on the on this Italian loaf. And um, I'll shred the pot roast, kind of like you would like a pulled pork kind of deal. Um, but I cook it long enough to where it's just kind of disintegrating and I shred it and we put it on these little rounds of bread with um, some mozzarella cheese and stick it in the oven to melt the cheese and then just figure out whatever sides we want Whether it's macaroni and cheese, or rice, or mashed potatoes. tree line in and we're working on our ground cover shrubbery line right now So we have just this little bit of section here to finish filling in. I think this heat is actually aggravating my hand more than I realize. It's 
certain ways I move it, it is not happy. I keep, for I keep trying to like line this up on the uh, edge of the mat. I'm like, no, silly, stop that. You don't have to be. Right there on the edge of the mat. So I try to keep our our edges as straight as I can, just to make it easier when I cut the excess off of them. I do like to leave our little margin-y guys in place though until such a time as when we are finished. Because with this stuff you never know if one side's going to get a little more out of control than the other and I've gone to the very edge before and it's a pain trying to get that very outer edge all fixed up there. Alright, so this is going to need at least one more little patchy guy on here. I didn't make this bit of fluff quite big enough to uh, slip into place. I really wish our local weather app had a, um, like, it shows the, like, you can set the radar up to show the lightning strikes and where they are, but it doesn't have a radius thingy on it. Um, I know the weather bug app has, like, that little spark map thingy that can show you how far away the uh, closest lightning strike was to you. And I know some people can have that alert set up on their phone. I don't have a cell phone though. Um, we just have the husband's because it's not worth the bill and stressing to pay it when our budget is so limited to begin with when we're always together. Now, if I end up having to go back to work in a couple of months, um, or within the next six or seven months, then we might have to get me one, just so I can get a hold of him and be like, hey, I'm done, come get me, or whatever. Um, but we should have the money to pay for it then, in theory, but we'll see. The cat moved, I might put that fan on after all. I am melting. Alright, 
that looks like that's pretty pretty well attached there. Okay. All right. So that is hunter green. I know it looks black. It's not. That and that purple, man. They don't want to show what they're supposed to be like. The hunter green's looking black. Yeah, I can't tell if that's a mark on my screen. Oh, yeah, it's a mark on my screen. I was like, is the camera finding a hole that I'm not seeing here? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and let Bob do some more stuff here. Okay, so we kind of put some land in. Now, like I said, ours is going to look a little bit different because of how he's doing his and how we're having to do ours. And you know, how different perspectives people have on stuff. So he is putting a big ash tree over here. Let's see how far down that's gonna come. So he kind of curls it in around there, and then he's got some more big ash shrubbery in there. Okay. So he mixed up some color. Or he's trying to mix up some color. Okay, so he's gonna come at it, come back and add in a little more substance to um, the shoreline here, I suppose we'll call it. gonna kind of wrap around into there so he kind of covers up that with, <laughs> with some brown streaking in okay that's fine Alright, so we're actually not done with this green. I thought we had some more time before we were going to get back into it, but we're not. Excuse me. Okay, so we'll pause that there. So never mind, false alarm on the moving on to a new color just yet. Okay. So we're gonna put in a little bit of some crazy shrubbery up into here. Just 
just a little bit. It was crazy how this lines like to here and then it kind of cuts in, but we can attempt to clean that edge up a bit when we wrap up the project because we still have this edge to go down here, so anything's really fair game at this point. been a piece of cat fuzz. Alright, so again, I am using acrylic yarn. This has been all acrylic yarn right now. I do have a little bit of roving and like a sample color set that I had picked up when I was first trying this out. So if I need a little something, I can pull from there. But, I don't strictly use that because they don't give you very much. They give you like a floss size Ziploc bag full of fluff, so it's only a couple of ounces and um, there's no way to reorder an individual color if you use all of it. You would just have to order another entire sampler set. and. While it wasn't that expensive to get the sample set of roving, it wasn't cheap either. And I just don't want to get stuck with a bunch of colors that I never plan on using, you know? That's just bad supply management, really. Okay. Whew. Toasty, toasty, toasty. So I'm not really... Okay, well that's kind of moving away. But I'm not convinced that that storm's not going to try to reform or build a tail on it because there's some lightning closer out away from the storm that's uh, near us. So, if any puppy has to go potty soon, they're probably going to have to potty in the carport. At least for safety's sake. Alright, so, let's see here. He kind of puts this guy in about here. And I'm going to try to work our way up with this one. It might backfire, but we'll see. Oh yeah, sorry about, oh, I'm not really sure, sorry about the scratch, oh, don't stab yourself. Sorry about the scratches on my hand. Don't know where they came from. They were just there when I woke up. I was like, what? I don't remember getting into an argument with any of the animals, but I don't know. It's possible. Somebody kind of jumped on me when I was sleeping. Suzu could have been trying to dig the blankets out of his way to get underneath of them. Although I don't remember him staying with me last night. Some nights he comes in. Some nights he doesn't. Just 
don't know. Okay. So we're gonna grab a bit more fruit up and stuff. Try to. Alright, so again, this whole line is going to get cleaned up a little bit. The inner square that we're actually kind of working on is approximately 8 by 10. It's probably not going to be a full 8 by 10 when we're done. It'll probably be close, but from what I've seen before, it probably won't uh, maintain that. Right, so we got this guy worked into here, or we're going to try to. So this one edge is like throwing me off because it's out over the edge. Don't know if I'm going to be able to bring that back in line very well. I can keep it somewhat straight or at least straight enough that when I bring the scissors back in, sorry I was looking at it, that I can clean it up with the scissors and not have it be too all over the place. So where are you guys? watching from? Are you in the States? Are you from overseas? What's your temperature like? I am not prepared for these temperatures already. I'm just not. This is like August level hot and it's June 25th. Like what in the F? What in the last year where it set in like a month Maybe. I vaguely remember saying the same shit last year. Because it's currently approximately. And I don't believe that's the right temperature. Really? Now I'm saying that it's come down and it's 89 with a feels like of 100. Two weather alerts. Spirit Thunderstorm Watch. Special weather statement. Okay. That's not for us. I'm not sure where that statement's at. You have to like... Oh, okay, that's where it is. You have to like click the other option on our weather radar. for the weather statements, which seems kind of silly because the only way you would really know that there was a special weather statement was if you were listening to your weather radio. And honestly, the only reason I checked was that there was um, a YouTube channel I started following that said that they had just started streaming and um, what the hell do they call themselves? Arkansas severe weather watchers or something and I was like oh and the title that they put on the stream was severe weather expected this afternoon and I was like what 
Where? And then I checked our weather and I was like, oh. You guys didn't have us listed in the possibility of storms today. So this is fascinating. Actually hoping we were gonna move on to the dirt part, but I think we're gonna end up spending the rest of the time we have today putting in our tree guy here. looks funny because he's not really connected to anything though. He's like just kind of hanging out here. Okay. So let's see about getting him tapped into here kind of lost our one cloud that we put in, so I feel a little bad about that. But that's the nature of these things sometimes. And just the way it tends to go. back on my chair. This fake plasticky leather shit is like being stuck to a car seat on a hot summer day. Not a fun experience. Alright, I'm gonna turn this guy. I can see what I'm doing here. sideways for just a minute. Oh, wait. I've got fluff everywhere. <laughs> Use this guy first. Alright, so we're just kind of doing like chaotic little blumps. Blumps? Blips, blobs, blobs. We'll go with blobs, although I do like blumps. Um, blobs of fluff here. Well, husband said he has to redo an emote. Maybe we can uh, um, get him to do a flamingo with like strands of different colored yarn hanging all over it. balls of yarn at their feet. I actually have two more emote slots too to fill, so that were apparently blank and I didn't realize it. And I've not done channel badges. I, I really should. I haven't done any kind of Point redemptions. Um, I don't know what to do for point redemptions though. I 
I'm not that imaginative, I guess, in that regards. I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, everybody kind of does the same thing because it's like, well, I don't know what the fuck to do with this. And I don't drink, so we're certainly not doing shots with them. That just sounds like a bad idea. I mean, like, everybody does, like, the hydrate one just about. This guy worked into here. I kind of want to take him to the edge. Just so we don't have any weird gap sections that we need to fill in. Looks like a foliage drumstick here. So we're gonna. I, I know he didn't, but I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. That's a little too much space. Or maybe we'll bring this up a little bit. Crunching, crunching all along. I'll tell you, this is a workout all on its own. Get enough fluff layered in here. Maybe I'm just that feeble today. <laughs> Anything is certainly possible. Almost there. Alright, got a couple of thin spots that we need to patch in. It should be clear enough. Hey, I don't see your hair and helping, so. Good enough for right now. I have water, but that's why he's hurting. Well, sore. well, I've been sore for days, but sometimes the sudden heat can do that to me. Yeah. Alright, we'll get this guy filled in here, and then we've got two more 
smaller thin patches there. I hope it does rain to cool shit down a little bit. This feels like triple digit numbers. I'm I'm not feeling it. Especially with me being this hot in the house. And the AC is on. Ugh. No, thank you. I need to make sure I grab a water. I'd really rather have like a Gatorade or something. Powerade. after having that stomach bug a couple nights ago. Still don't feel like I've completely bounced back from that. What's up? Probably just lawn grass. Really? Yes. He didn't even try and get off the porch. He went and knew it was going to grab looked sad at me. I wonder if that pain pill upset his stomach a little bit. He's been no more into the grass than he has been for weeks now. Mm, true. And he doesn't. He doesn't seem to have an upset stomach. No. He doesn't express any discomfort over the fact that today. I suppose. Old dog just likes to worry me. And that's all. Is that lettuce gone or is it still in good condition? Um, it's still in there. I don't know what you consider to be good How condition. I don't fucking know. Two days? You're gonna have to look at it and determine that for you. This put into here. He asks me questions that only he can answer. He has um, food anxiety. So if something even remotely looks slightly different than what he's expecting, he can't eat it. So by asking me if it's in good condition means nothing because I could think it's fine. I'll eat it but um, it might not meet with his approval, so it's like, uh, you're asking me things I can't really answer. All right, I think we'll do just one little bit more in here. So we're going to be doing art again tomorrow. So here's the plan for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to work on getting our um, beach line in. So that's going to involve um, putting our, our dark brown in, get that layered into here. We're not going to pay attention to this section down here yet, but we'll get that in. We'll get our sheeting in. 
and if there's time tomorrow, we'll start to work on our water section. It's really lumpy. And um, we'll we'll see how far we get tomorrow. But um, I mean, you know, these are a bit closer together. He doesn't really leave. Oh, my hands are sweating. <laughs> my fingers are sweating inside the finger projectors. Don't skimp on those. Um, make sure you get them. It's better to uh, potentially prevent a problem than have to go to urgent care or the emergency room to have them remove the barbed needle from your finger and then that will probably involve a tetanus shot and uh, who the fuck knows what else. Possibly stitches. A very large bill. It's just better to just put the damn protectors on your fingers. So I don't know how this edge is gonna pan out, so I'm kinda sort of wanting to put just a little bit more on that edge there. I haven't committed to a cut line yet. Um, we have a guideline for a cut line, but we've seen with some of these how that can wildly change. All right. Just a few more tappy taps here. looking pretty good. Okay. Alright, I think that's where we're going to pause it for today. So, not bad, not bad. Um, so yeah, and we've got our plan outlined for tomorrow. Uh-oh. Oh, seriously? Oh, why can't I get this open? Usually I can, there we go, nudge it back and forth. It did not want to leave its comfy, comfy place in there. All right. I like the handle because then I can put the needle in there and I don't have to worry about accidentally stabbing myself. But yeah, so that's going to be it for today. I um, hope you guys had a good afternoon. I'm sorry we got started a few minutes late, but you know, we got the things and stuff dealt with. Um, so I don't think we're off to too bad of a start here. Uh, don't forget to follow the links down below. So we've got the Twitter, the, the Insta, the Ko-fi, and um, the YouTube page. It's free to subscribe on YouTube, so um, feel free to do that because you never know if you're going to see a project pop up there that we didn't stream. Or if you want to catch up on the backlog of a project that you may have missed the beginning parts of, probably going to find it over there on one of the playlists. Um, we've got a painting playlist, we've got a specific Bob Ross playlist, we've got the needle felting playlist, and we've got some other different games over there as well, including Planet Zoo. Um, there's a couple for Dinkum, 
I really need to get back in there, but I just haven't had the time. We've got Coral Island over there as well. Which I'm really enjoying that game. Alright, well, I'm going to shut up now before I completely melt. I'm halfway there as it is. And uh, you guys have a good evening. And I will see you tomorrow.